Oh my lord, Navi. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. We gotta make sure to take our shortcut. What is this? It's like something there, but I don't know what. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> it's like when I want him to throw it, he won't throw it. And when I want him to just drop it, he throws it. Oh no. <laughs> no. We wasted it. I had a feeling that's what it was gonna be. It's like, you know it's a chest. Maybe we should leave it. <laughs> I was like, but maybe it's something cool. <sighs> Mistakes were made. As they generally tend to be on this channel. <laughs> Hey, go wrong shop. Thanks to you, we're all okay. Why don't you buy some bombs now? <laughs> it's like, thanks, now buy something. You can't get this now. A tunic made by Gorons, adult size, protects you from the heat damage. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> okay. Game has broken my spirit. <laughs> Should we like talk to these guys again? Nope. Still saying the same stuff. Yeah, it takes us back to the Lost Woods, which we don't want to go to. I don't know why I went for those. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm kind of hoping that we we find some bombs in the pots. All right, so this this time, is it 30 minutes later? <laughs> let's climb, let's climb uh, Death Mountain. I like how you're like climbing this mountain and there's like flaming balls of fire. You're dealing with all kinds of like debris, these giant boulders, and then you just hear a cow chilling. Living its best life. God, here we go. <laughs> no. Serpentine! See, like, some of this is unfair. Like, there's literally nothing you can do. I feel like we were also just getting destroyed that first time. <laughs> like, it seemed like there was way less uh, flaming balls that time. I think there, yeah, I was like, I think there's one more. This is weird. This is like the actual only <laughs> HD uh, <laughs> texture that we see. <laughs> like the, this wall here, high res. <laughs> oh no. What does he want? <laughs> You've done well to come all the way up here, Wega. This is the summit of the sacred Death Mountain, Hoot. It's said the clouds surrounding this peak reflect the condition of Death Mountain. When they look normal, it's at peace. Climbing all the way up here just proves how smart you are. Now I want you to see you make an I want to see you make another smart move. The great fairy lives on this mountaintop and she will give you a new skill. She's the leader of the fairies, you know. I'll perch here and wait for you. When you're ready to go back down, I can help you. Now get going. 
but we luckily have <laughs> a couple bombs left. <laughs> oh, can we actually play this song here? <laughs> that scream, my man, I forgot about it. Sounds like bloody murder. <laughs> Welcome, Wega. I'm the great fairy of power. I'm gonna grant you a sword technique. Receive it now. You mastered the secret sword technique of the spin attack. Hold B to charge your weapon. Release B to unleash a wave of energy with your spin. If you want to release energy without charging your weapon, just rotate. Yeah, it's like when we were trying earlier, I was like, I could swear you could just rotate the stick and press B. When you charge power for a spin attack, magic power will be consumed. Pay attention to your green magic meter. Hey boy. You're a messenger of the royal family, aren't you? Next time you're in their neighborhood, you should drop in on a friend of mine who lives by Hyrule Castle. Oh my god, now we can go back. <laughs> She'll surely grant you another new power. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. <laughs> oh, there's our magic cage. Man, it's hard to do this spin attack on the Switch. <laughs> Tried like 12 times and did it once. Yes, yeah, so what I was... No, no. What I was saying, if we <laughs> tried to go in here, we would have a rough time because we need the red tunic. Death Mountain Crater. Wega, it's so hot in here. We can't stay in here for long. Yeah, it's like a 40 second timer. But there's something on that other side. I want to say maybe it's like another fairy. And there's like a cow or something down there. Alright. You got a magic jar. Your magic meter is filled. Right, let's get out of here. Let's blow this popsicle joint! Hoo hoot! Well, it looks like you've grown up a little from the Great Fairy's power. But you still don't really look like the hero who will save Hyrule, at least not yet. If you're going back down the mountain, I can lend you a wing. Come here and grab my talons, and hold on tight! Hoo hoot! Yes! What is that? Oh, that's the... Yeah, where the, uh, we threw down the bomb flower. Uh, it's the vomit comet! Oh! <laughs> hey! Play our cards right. We are. Uh, we're not on the right house. I thought we were on the house that's over there. Dang it! <laughs> this is a uh, Impa's old house. Yeah. All right. Not on the right house. what I thought. This used to be the Great Impa's house, but she doesn't live here any longer. It's now open to all villagers. You're free to go in. Okay, okay, got it. <laughs> I got it. 
Okay, we did the graveyard stuff. Or as much of it as I felt like I could do. We have all the chickens but two. So we could just, you know, go back by- okay, cool, got a bomb. Let's go back by Hyrule Castle and then just get our our next power. And then maybe by then something will happen. But I think we need to go to like Lake Hylia. We could call up Soraya too, after we do the uh, the fairy fountain. If nothing's happened by then, we'll just call Soraya and be like, "Hey, what are we supposed to do right now?" But we're almost close to hitting the Temple of Time. And then once that happens, then I think the game becomes way more interesting. Way more interesting. Hey, can we take that, Kuko? <laughs> He's just come back with like two random chickens. The lady's like, those aren't my chickens. Like, pretty sure they are. It's my reward now. <laughs> They're your chickens now. Okay, so we, what is it? We got Den's Fire, I think, that last time. I think we get something that's not fire this time. <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil it. Like, it's kind of crazy. Like I was saying, it's like 15 years later, I remember exactly what we're gonna get. Like, the names of all this stuff. It's kind of nuts, the kind of things that imprint on your memory. Like, could not tell you what I did at work today. Can tell you the name of this item from 15 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> These polygons hit different in 2021. Like, when I first saw this game, graphically it blew my mind. Like, looking at it now, it's just like... Rough. Welcome, Wega. I'm the Great Fairy of Magic. I'll give you a magic spell. Please take it. You got Den's Fire. Its fireball engulfs everything. Its attack ma- er, Its attack magic huh, you can use with C. You can use Den's Fire not only to attack, but also to burn things. <laughs> Isn't that attacking? When battle has made you weary, please come back and see me. Okay. So we have our, like, spin attack fueled by energy. We have Den's Fire. Now we just need an objective. <laughs> we'll just, like, start heading to Lake Hylia. Actually, you know what? I don't think we can get into Lake Hylia by just going to Lake Hylia. Yeah. I don't know if I want to walk all the way down there to show why we can't go there. <laughs> But we definitely can't. Oh, the dogs are out again. <laughs> Harold. Frank. <laughs> Dare we keep looking for this dog? <laughs> Have we tried so many different dogs? It's back here. Oh, this the same alley. Well, we're in this alley, and the dog is already following us, so... <laughs> Might as well just try. Yep. <laughs> it was worth it. Had nothing to lose in that position. 
Oh, we couldn't go into this house during the day. Bomb chew shop. This is a new type of bomb. It's available only in limited quantities. And when I'm sold out, that's it! These things are expensive. It actually looks like a toy mouse, but it's actually a self-propelled time bomb. <laughs> oh, okay. He's got lots of uh, tin pieces. So it's basically tin piece and 20 piece. Uh, can we buy this? Got nothing else to spend the money on. Okay. Check to buy something else? No. <laughs> Alright, well, we're the proud owner of a, a Bomba Chew. You know, actually thinking about this, I think we can. <laughs> Go to Lake Hylia. Oh, right, the door's closed. Let's go in here real quick. Yeah, we'll like, uh, just do one more run through here just to get some more money. Like you never have too much money. And then we'll... I think we'll just click... Actually, we could go to Zora's Domain. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you know, I said I was gonna call Soraya, didn't I? We'll call Soraya and see if she says anything. <laughs> Stuck, stay with us all night. All right, let's call Soraya. Talk to Soraya. Wega, this is Soraya, can you hear me? Ah. Uh. <laughs> I just wanted to like display what's already on screen faster. Alright. Are you collecting spiritual stones? You have one more to find. You mean a spiritual stone of water, don't you? The great Deco tree once told me that King Zora, ruler of Zora's domain, has it. Yeah, it's like we could probably go to Zora's domain. Okay. Thanks, Soraya. Luckily for us, Zora's Domain is like right here. And then like, uh, <laughs> once we become an adult, this game, like I was saying, becomes way more interesting and like, stuff like this becomes a little less, uh, <laughs> a little less mundane. It's not just us running across the field. <laughs> Cross over here real quick. Check this sign, but I'm pretty sure this is Zoro's domain. Yeah, Zoro's river. Watch out for swift current and strong undertow. Ooh, you know... My memory just came flushing back in. It's like it takes some effort to get through here. <laughs> Hey, that's what we're looking for, some bomb 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 bombs Woohoo! Looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already, Wega. Just ahead lies Zora's domain. Zora serve Hyrule's royal family by protecting the water source. Their door will not open for anyone except those who have some connection to the royal family. Let them hear the melody of the royal family. Woohoo hoot! It's like, dude, if you know so much about all this stuff, why aren't you out here doing it? <laughs> like, either let me do it, or leave me alone. This dude's like a micromanager. Kuko? I, I want to say... Maybe need, like, a bomb or something? I 
I could have sworn there was like something just flying right at us. <laughs> chomp chomp! How about some magic beans? They aren't selling very well. How about 10 rupees for one piece? Sure. If you want to plant beans, go around, look for soft soil, chomp chomp. Alright, can you buy some more? How about some magic beans? Well, they're not that popular yet. How about 20 rupees? 20? What is the price going up? Okay. What's the next one's gonna be like 100 rupees? How about some magic beans? They're getting to be quite popular. 30 rupees. This man sells on eBay. I wonder if Soraya knows anything about the other spiritual stone. We're, we're in Zoro's domain, Navi. It's too late. <sighs> My goodness. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Put those in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> like the little sound effect, I'm like Alright, now we just let that be for a while. Oh no. <laughs> okay, that's why the chicken's there. Noted. You know, T E D. Jump right here. Yeah. Nope. Leave us alone. Ah! We could try to. Uh, I guess it's not really that difficult. It's like we could try to get this heart piece real quick. Uh, can we make that jump? I think it's going to be a struggle. Okay. Rip chicken. Ooh. Nailed it! <laughs> I was like, last minute, I was like, I wonder if we just ditch this chicken. Blue tectite. It's hard to beat on the water. Lure it into the, onto the land. Okay. What? First person mode, thank you. <laughs> so I just want to look around, jeez. Yeah, so like, I think we need to go down there. And then I'll go up. I don't think there is like much else around here. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. Some frogs are looking at you from underwater. I. Th hey. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Young lad, you play the ocarina well. Hmm, that melody is so fine, Rivet. We should all practice it, Rivet. Take rupees as a souvenir. If you come up with another nice melody, please drop by and play it, Rivet, Rivet. Ooh. That shmoney. Ugh. I can't wait for that N64 controller to show up. <laughs> but trying to do this stuff with an analog stick is not that great. They're getting big! Alright, so it's not to waste more rupees. We're just gonna hold off right there. And try to remember that this place exists, but I'm probably gonna fail. <laughs> um, 
how do we get over there? I think we need chicken friend. <laughs> you get out of here. <laughs> Navi, it would be a great time for you to help me out. <laughs> so we're gonna try to chance this. I don't know if we're gonna be able to like jump it and make this. There's kinda no other way for us to go. Oh, we can just like walk over here. The chicken? Oh, well. <laughs> I was like, the chicken's over here with us, and then, oh man, that thing is gone. <laughs> nope. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh yeah, we don't have a, a Deku shield anymore. Need to buy one of those at some point. Okay, we have a heart piece. How do we go about getting one of those? Oh, I think that takes you to Lake Hylia. There's a gold skull jaw. I don't think we're gonna go look for it. <laughs> I think we the the adult wallet is like as big of a wallet as we need. Zora's domain. The Zoras look cool in this game. I always thought this was kind of their best design. Although Breath of the Wild was also really good. Who are you? We're the Zoras, the proud aquatic people. See, you say you have some connection with Hyrule's royal family. Well, what do you want from us? Everything. Navi? Please talk to the person in the water. Alright. Apparently we're not good enough to talk to you. Have you seen Lord Jabu Jabu? According to the legend of Zora, <laughs> the act of offering a fish to Lord Jabu Jabu will make you happy. If I remember, yeah, it's like, if I remember, there was a place here where we could grab fish, but we need a, a, a bottle. I think this is actually where we get a second bottle. We Zoras all serve the great King Zora. Dare we try to break all those rocks? I think I'll spare everybody the pain. Zora's fountain is the source of the river. Lord Jabu Jabu lives in the fountain. Lord Jabu Jabu is the patron deity of the Zoras. Princess Rudo is in charge of preparing his meals morning and night. Rudo, is, is that what her name is in uh, Breath of the Wild? Mifa, no. It's like, is it Rudo? Zora shop. We have fresh fish. Yeah, then here is where we can get the blue tunic. Uh -huh. I want to buy a fish, but they're a little too expensive. I have no choice but to catch one of the fishes that's swimming around out there. Welcome! Oh no, 300 rupees. We do need to get a bigger wallet. A tunic made by Zora's, adult size, prevents you from drowning underwater. Fish, just caught and so fresh, you can keep it in a bottle. Uh, I always 
kind of remembered getting a bottle here. But maybe not. Uh, we talked to that person. Uh, I don't think there was anything over here for us to do. Uh, it very much looks like a cave. <laughs> Can we use, like, Din's fire? I wonder if we have to, like, light all the lanterns. All these torches. It's on easy mode. <laughs> it's like, please give us a, give us a magic jar. Alright, we're not getting lucky here. Oh, we are, we are. Oh, it's already gone out. Um, definitely seems like, uh, one of the kind of places where you'd want to do, uh, like, trying to light all the torches. Just ahead, King Zora's chamber. Show the proper respect. Respect! Ruff! Respect! Yeah, like, there's just so many torches. <laughs> Really feels like we gotta light him. <laughs> that pop in. King Zora's throne room. To hear King Zora's royal proclamations, stand on the platform and speak to him. Oh my dear sweet Princess Rudo, where is she gone? I'm so worried. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I think we need to do... Do the thing where we get a fish and we drop it down there. Uh, what means we're gonna lose our fairy, though. Diving game 20... Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Pick up all the rupees I throw from here. You have only a limited amount of time. When you pick them all up, come back here and I'll give you something very nice. No. Start! Okay, it's one. Oh my god, dive. Link! <laughs> Are they moving? No. Just sitting still. There's like one more right there. Good lord. Congratulations, I got something very nice for you. Come and get it. Please be a bottle. Let's just check to see if this is a bottle. And if it is, then we don't have to lose our fairy. We Zora's all served the great... I hear you, brother. Dude, we almost... Oh, we got to keep that money. I was like... Or did we? Because it was 20 rupees and there was like 6 or 7 blue rupees that he threw in there. So we definitely should have made all of our money back, but we did not. We did not. What a graceful dive. Now please take this. This is a scale of our kind. With this, you can dive much deeper underwater. I mean, I guess it's alright. You got the silver scale. Jump into the water and press A. You can dive deeper than you could before. Oh, you know, I think we could go... This thing takes us to Lake Hylia. And I think we can go to Lake Hylia. And there we find a bottle.
Hey, there it is. Ha ha ha! You got an empty bottle. Put something inside. What? Something's already inside. Yeah, it's like, I remember this. And I also remember a couple other things here. Might as well do them while, while we're here. Oh yes, let's let's take a look at this real quick because I, now I'm curious because I kind of remember you being able to get here on foot, but I kind of also remember you not being able to get here on foot. Okay, you can leave on foot, but you can't come in here on foot. Yeah, you stay right there, Hooty Hoot. <laughs> yeah, so it's like we need a way to jump over that, which we don't have right now. So I was about to like walk all the way down there, <laughs> and I was like, pretty positive we can't make it. Yeah, so in this area, there's a lot of like interesting things. Uh, one of them is just kind of fun. One of them is kind of a necessity. But we'll eventually just make our way back to freaking... Uh, should we put this one here? Let's do it. Let's live on the wild side. got going on here. Lakeside Laboratory. Daily trying to get, wait, daily trying to get to the bottom of the mysteries, mysteries of Lake Hylia, Lake Scientist. I can read, I, I promise. Lakeside Laboratory. Hello there, son. I'm researching the process of making medicine by mixing Lake Hylia's water with various unusual compounds. Perhaps you've met that old lady from the potion shop. She's like a student of mine. Ho ho ho! I've noticed in Legend of Zelda games they like saying ho ho ho. Okay. Is there anything? Oh, that's super deep. It's very deep, sir. <laughs> a lot of like cool textures. It's Cthulhu! <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> we'll come back to that. Um, let's check out some other stuff, though. This. Ugh. So frustrating. <laughs> Uh, maybe it's not that song. Whoa, <laughs> we just had to be a little closer. Whoa, you have an ocarina. Hey, why don't you lay a tune on me with it, baby? Oh, well, I don't remember that song, baby. Why? That's what I can't tell you. Good golly. Okay. I think everybody, like... Gets down the Soraya song. <laughs> oh well, I don't remember that song, baby. Dude, is it this one? What the heck? Fantastic tune! It touches my heart! Oh my god, it recorded all this? If you come up with a nice song, come back and let me hear it. <laughs> I could swear it's like... 
Fantastic tune. It touches my heart. One of these... Maybe we have to be an adult. <laughs> I'm Bonnaroo, the scarecrow, a musical genius. I hear a song once, and I never forget it, baby! Whoa, you have an ocarina. Hey, why don't you lay a tune on me? Oh, well, I don't remember that song. Ah, oh, man. Maybe we have to, like, go somewhere to learn it. Actually, it looks like we picked this up. Is this in here? Huh? It looks like there's something already inside this bottle. It's a letter. Help me, I'm waiting for you inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly, Rudo. Don't tell my father. <laughs> it's like, uh, maybe this is an instance where you want your father to know? Oh no! I keep like the switch controller obviously doesn't like color match the the buttons that are showing in the UI, so like I always get mixed up what button they actually want me to hit. This is the spot. I played this thing so much when I was younger. <laughs> what do you want to go fishing for twenty rupees? Alright. In the next one, we'll go fishing for twenty rupees. <laughs>